2017, I was 44 years old with an 11-year-old daughter, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Three days later, my dad died of brain cancer. It was his second cancer. The first happened when I was seven, and the radiation treatment damaged his heart, leading to a heart transplant. Almost 20 years of immunosuppressant drugs eventually led to my dad's brain cancer. I've suffered from a lifetime of depression and anxiety and post-cancer from chronic pain and fatigue due to the endocrine therapy I take. For me, two activities have helped me heal, movement and creativity. I'm sharing this video with you because we are introducing our podcast, Ash and Feather, A Bird Girl and Her Father's Cancer. In this podcast, there are two dads and a girl, and they are taking the journey through one of the dad's brain cancer. Um, some of the writing that I did was related to my memories of being a child of a parent with cancer, and some are my memories of being a parent with cancer. So I've been writing poetry as one of the ways to help me heal, and this is the one, one of the ones about me and my dad. We didn't have much in common, father and daughter. I went left, you went right. I opened, you closed. I listened while you talked. I was young, you were old. I was healthy, you were sick. I was a blank slate while you knew everything. I wore blades, you wore quads. I watched and you stole the show. Then you had cancer. Now I do too. I will survive mine. Yours finished you. I wish I could have told you, you would have understood. Your eyes expressed sorrow and love, mine do too. I wish you could have told me all that you knew. Maybe there is more, not less. I am not the little girl you once knew because you had cancer and now I do too. I wrote the podcast, Ash and Feather, as a person with cancer and a lifetime child of a parent with cancer. I wanted to explore my relationship with my daughter as she watched me fight for my life and to imagine a better relationship with my father who had lost his life to cancer. I wanted to represent a family struggling with something quite hidden, the pain of going through cancer and emotional turmoil and grief, none of which we talked about when I was a child, when my dad had cancer. Personally, I've many times succeeded in hiding my disabilities because they were internal. Cancer, pain, fatigue, sadness, panic. Yeah, you could see that I lost my hair, but the rest of it was pretty invisible to everyone else. Often people don't know when I'm struggling with one of the invisible conditions. I want Ash and Feather to celebrate the joys and struggles of a family experiencing a range of emotions and going through often invisible medical struggles. I hope you can check out our podcast, Ash and Feather, which will be released on Monday, July 27th, wherever you stream your podcasts. Thanks for listening.